And next we come to parallel and perpendicular lines. For parallel lines, that means the lines, even if we extend them, they will not meet at the point. And we will use this arrow head to represent the uh, parallel. And this figure, we call this a parallelogram. And if we have two sets of parallel lines, that means we can use two different sets of arrowheads. This is PQ parallel to SR and PS parallel to QR. And we can write in this way. For the first one, AB parallel to CD, just write to slash, slash to represent parallel. And then PQ parallel to SR, PQ parallel to SR, and PS parallel to QR. So this is a parallelogram. And finally, for perpendicular lines, perpendicular, we can chunk the words into several parts. So XO is perpendicular to Y is at, this is a 90 degree. And therefore we can write XO perpendicular to Y is at. We just draw an, draw a T turned upside down to represent perpendicular. 